New York has had a problem with acid rain, with its annual rain uh, pH being as low as 4.2. Since the Clean Air Act was passed, however, uh, there has been less uh, pollution contributing to acid rain, and it has been observed that New York's uh, rain has decreased in its acidity as the pH has risen up to its current value around 4.7. With the Clean Air Act regulation, one can observe a steady decrease in the amount of sulfates uh, which have been uh, uh, released. And so this is obviously a positive result of the increased regulation uh, and the cleaner emissions on coal. Stricter regulations on nitrate uh, emissions have also de uh, led to a decrease in nitrate pollution over the years since Clean Air Act uh, regulations have passed. And both these sulfate and nitrate reductions have been responsible for the decrease in acid rain in New York. One can see this trend nationwide as well. While it is often depicted that one must sacrifice the economy in order to help preserve the environment, this graph shows that uh, the exact opposite can be the case. Since the Clean Air Act has passed, the U.S. GDP has gone up. The amount of electricity which Americans have used and America has produced has gone up. But yet, the amount of acid rain has gone down, sulfate and nitrate emissions have gone down, and so one can help the environment and the economy simultaneously.